Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our After the End mod as Marquis Lincoln of Grand Cayman. So I uh, I realized that uh, our truce for the Holy War is already over. Like we're allowed to declare another Holy War. So we should totally do that. Uh, we've got some land down here. Got some dudes hanging out here. The Limonian army. Let's see. We could try to take two provinces at once. We're trying to fabricate a claim on Veraguas. I think we just take Azuero. Just take this guy's land. Do you have any allies? None. Uh, it would be a holy war, so we would have some issues there. But I think we can probably win. Maybe we should get some money first. Let's do that. Let's get a little bit of money. <clears throat> now, people were commenting on a recent video saying that uh, perhaps we should not... Ugh, where's the boats? Perhaps we should not um, try raiding with the retinue. Because it's not as efficient. How many? Okay, hold on. I only have 45 boats and we've raised 5,000 troops. Where did all the boats go? We need more boats. We need our vassals' boats. And even then, it's not enough. Not enough. Not enough. And this boat's useless to us. Yeah, we have 55 boats and more than. You know, we've got 5,800 troops altogether, so. I guess we leave the retinue behind then, huh? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, I would have taken it. People were saying that the, the retinue is not profitable to raid with. I think for the light infantry retinue, it probably is okay. The monthly projected cost of 0.07, I'm pretty sure we're going to make a profit off that. But I suppose if someone really wanted to, they could do the math and go figure it out. But uh, yeah. I also really appreciate the comments that I've been seeing on these videos because... Uh, People are just enjoying the campaign. Uh, there was a really good subreddit post. Someone saying how this is like the best campaign. Um, because we, you know, we're just enjoying the game, right? We're not trying to go crazy and conquer the whole world and be as stupidly aggressive as we can. We're just trying to carve out a piece of land for ourselves as Lincoln. Because Lincoln's a badass. And everybody likes Lincoln. Rugbert, a British scholar residing at your court, gravely insulted you in front of several other courtiers. Stake or not, he must be punished. Of course he must. Kick him in the face. Alright, we have arrived. Uh, let's toggle looter. Uh, actually, I'd like to maybe divide this up into as many subgroups as we can. Right. So that does not work out so well when there are boats in port. Because <laughs> the V key also tells them to embark the army and it deselects units, so... Okay, we'll do it this way. So 1,200. Can we get smaller? I think I think we go with like 1,200 stacks. I don't want to really get ambushed by anybody. And that's close. Let's take the the largest. The largest is probably a single army composition. Yeah, so we can't make it any better. All right, we'll go with three stacks then of about 2,000. And that way we don't have to worry about them getting kind of caught out. Okay, it was the Yuki, the Aiki, the Yuki, find economy. I think we're gonna go up here and find our, our good old friend over here. What's up with this thing, like, stopping here? Why did it stop? War is blocking this province in the interstate. Now it's not. The interstate brings trade through this province. City tax plus 76%. Wow. I want... A son was born to us, our son, who is quick, but sickly. His name is Richard. Very well. We will train him in the ways of the struggle. Ooh, or is there a revolt here? The Mexican revolt. Mexico revolt. Good. Good opportunity for us to siege stuff down without getting uh, really bothered by anybody. Here comes the boats. Pretty high overall base tax there. I think we just sort of ignore the war and... Uh, First off, let's land everybody here, and we'll probably move into that province as well. We're going to need to put Lincoln in charge, of course. And by Lincoln, I mean me. Uh, is it better, do you think, to loot three provinces at once, or do we want to... I think we can just go engage that guy. Well... You gotta think for a second here. The, uh... Let's just do a little bit of mental math. With our siege leader bonus, 
we are going at 10%. Without it, we're going at, well, 26%, but that's because it's a city. I think we're still better off splitting them up, because the the outnumbered bonus is really all that we would increase. And that's not very significant. Yeah, I think we're still better off doing multiple sieges. Little garrison here is less than 1500, so we could totally pull like this stack up to there. We have to fight that army. Move over. Ah, no, maintain the siege, maintain the siege. Okay. Tag, you're it. De Tampia. Errol is no longer steward. He died after a period of illness. Errol Glasspole. He was my brother. A sad time. He was a bit stubborn. Nobody liked him anyway. All right. We got a mayor who thinks he's high and mighty. He's just a mayor, so who cares? We'll take the uh, courtier. And we'll go back to collecting taxes, I think. Port George still does make the most money for us. This engagement should be just fine. They didn't even put a leader in charge, so that's good. Hopefully we don't get maimed. Could happen. Actually could. Instead, we lost zero troops. Literally zero troops. How is that even possible? We're just that good. We should just siege down. Not castles. This is a lot easier, though. We'll go speed four and just let this happen. Just let it happen, game. I think I might actually turn off some of the pop-ups now. Ooh, there, there we go. That castle shipyard will help out. And we are running a deficit while trying to keep these troops up. Need to get some more city, uh, castle, castle, uh, towns built. Which requires technology, which we can't do. Alright, we're gonna turn this pop-up off for now. It'll still show up up there. It just doesn't tell us how much money we take, sadly. So we'll just have to pay closer attention to this. 410 ducats. 460. That's not cool. Let's make sure that your armies are on the side flanks. We leaders. Come in and reinforce this fight. We're routing the center pretty handily, but that's going to distract them. They're no longer going to get an advantage. Alright, we lost a few men. I am now Roth. More martial score. Cool. We lost 259 troops. Not bad at all. And then we impregnated our wife. <laughs> Alright, we're all done burning that down. I think we've got enough money anyway. Let's finish this siege, and then we'll head, head home. You guys can go to the boats, and then we'll send you down here to help out with that siege. Should finish rather quickly. Um, I think we're full up, right? Yeah, close enough. Let's get out of here. Got some ducats. I kind of want my uncle to lead troops, so we're going to go with you instead. Actually, you're both pretty good at leading troops. Let's make you into a guy. And then you can fabricate claims for us. Okay, we can stop off in Fort George. I still feel like we have enough men that we can go and do some more raiding. We have enough money. I think I'd like another maybe 400 ducats before we consider another holy war. Just in case. I'd rather play it safe, right? We don't want to have to lose a war and lose extra money. It just makes more sense, I think, to, to take the money. And then, uh, this time around, why don't we take the raiders with us as well? Uh, we'll take two armies this time. And we've got that spot up here that we love. With a whole bunch of cities that are still raided. Spires 2731. January. Well, that's pretty soon. What about over here? We've got that town. 
Yeah, that's a top city. Nice stolen technology. I don't like that there. I think we go for... Up here. Yeah. Despite the fact that it's burnt down. It was probably me, if I'm being honest. There's still tons of money here, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll just spread out, right? And we'll siege down both of them. And probably over the course of the next eight to nine months, it will end up stop being raided, and then we can just loot it again. So we'll just start working on these ones. Marquis Frederick the Wise has challenged you to a duel. The only honorable response would be to accept the challenge. He's not rival to us, he just wants to duel us for some reason. He's a homosexual, that's, that's why he wants to duel us. He's a personal combat skill of negative three. We have a per okay, I'll, I'll accept. Please don't murder me. The day of the duel against Marquis the Wise has arrived. As you approach the location of the fight, you realize a small crowd has gathered to watch the event. Marquis Frederick the Wise starts aggressively, but you manage to evade and block the attacks that he hurls at you. Over time, you gain advantage while your opponent is getting more and more fatigued. Finally, you feint a high attack against... And Marquis Frederick the Wise falls for it, failing to block as you strike out towards his unprotected legs. Once injured, he surrenders. People will be upset about this merciless action. We could just murder him. <laughs> We are Lincoln! I will show no mercy! <laughs> uh, that's good. It's good. I mean, he shouldn't have... I mean... Stupid bastard, he shouldn't have tried to duel us. We're Lincoln. Of course we're gonna murder people. That's what we do. Uh, we should be in charge of... This siege. Because we've got the castle that we're working on. Actually, we're working on two castles, so it really makes no difference. But this one's got... Kind of juicier loot beneath it. Oh, would you stop that? Here, let's leave behind an army and see if we can threaten him to... ...not do that. Are you seriously gonna... You're gonna try to defend, huh? Fine. I'll just combine and do one siege at a time, then. Jerk. Right, let's make sure we're leading the center so that we get our bonus. Look at that 27 Marshall score. That's so good. Okay, you stop being burnt down in November of 30. That's really soon. Do, 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 do. So that modifier will go away in 10 days. Killing many of the besiegers. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's gone. Now we can start sieging that down. Now we are working on the woodlands. Yep, we automatically defaulted back to the top holding, which is going to be excellent loot. Unfortunately, the... Uh, these one siege modifiers, they don't tell you the amount of money that you got, which is sad. But we know that the number is quite high. Which is clearly all that matters. Ba -dum -bum. Bum -bum -bum. <laughs> you keep on trying to spend money on that trade post, don't they? Okay, we want to research cultural tech. Actually, I think we have some provinces that are the wrong religion. Let's try to spread the faith. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Ooh, almost take that in two ticks. We just burn down the top two cities and then we head home. We'll be good to go. <laughs> yet again, yet another trade post. Come on, guys, let's go. Another son. No, this is a cousin. First of all. Fair enough. We should, uh... Where was that character? Yeah, we should set his education. We want to focus on military nonstop, I think. How's our dynasty looking? 14 living members. Not bad. We could be a bit more pros promiscuous. We have an unmarried heir. Our uh, our uncle, uncle's wife just died after at poor, with poor health at age forty. Our uncle is a forty-eight year old. Let's wed him to uh, some woman. Dull. This one. Let's see. Oh, it's a child. Okay. 
Nothing good. Guess we go for her. Just pick someone. Okay, we stand down. Uh, we stand down the boats. And I think we're ready to declare this war. No claim yet. Maybe we'd be better off declaring a holy war on you instead. No, it's two separate duchies anyway. Unfortunate. You know what, let's go for this one, because I want to be able to have more boats on this side. No allies? Nope, but it is a holy war. Now, more than likely, we're going to want to not... God, I hate that. I hate how they made the G key this stupid Republic map mode. The G key is to combine your armies. It's been that way since time immemorial. And yet, when you're trying to combine armies, if you misclick, then you end up doing some nonsense with the trade map mode. Alright, let's consolidate everyone to this province. Let's get these boats to head over to here. Going through the treasury to account for today's earnings, it seems to me that the coffers seem to contain less than what we started out with today. Become paranoid. I'll murder him when I catch him. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. No one's joined the war yet. Let's see if we can get down there and blitz him. On Donner, on Cupid, on Donner, and Lincoln's Blitzen. What? These boats need to come up here to help out with this guy. And it looks like a few people have honored the call. Your Lesland has also noticed that coins are missing, but has concluded that your chance of the uh, Eshekir Lesland is the only one that could have stolen it. Your Lesland has also noticed, and it was him. No. What? <laughs> what? You're the you're the dude. You promise not to do it again. Dirty man. All right, let's hope we can get down there in time. Our son becomes willful. Uh, do we like willful? Rowdy and willful. Can develop into ambitious, brave, or stubborn. Go ahead. That's fine with me. There's our troops. Okay, we lead the center. Let's bring you over here. Let's get a couple more uh, commanders appointed. Okay, so we've got mounted troops. We don't really have much of those. We can go for you. Let's get over there. The boats I think we can get rid of. Oh, that's quite a few troops. He'll be gone by the 26th. We're going to be there on the, 20, the 30th. Good. Most of them have left. Hey, and we just converted that province. Our province is now Rastafarian. Nice work. Oh, it's gonna be a massacre. And we lost 39 troops. Very good. 19% siege ticks against a castle. Excellent. Good stuff. Once we get that, we gotta come over here and take his other only holding, which should give us a fair bit of war score. We may end up engaging his army. Oh, look at that. 55 war score already? My goodness. We control the war goal. Oh, that's right. This is actually somebody who's neutral. Strange. Okay. So, do we just fight him in the 
defensive terrain. We have more troops. I think we go for sieging down his other holding. That's what we're good at. So, let's give it a go. Another daughter. And another daughter. A strong one. Named Marlene. Right. I'm going to take a break here. I do look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.